my name's Mira Vogel. I work in e-learning environments in University College London and I'm an officer in the Alt MOOC Special Interest Group. My name is James Little. I work at the University of Leeds in the um, Staff and Development Department um, and I'm an Alt SIG MOOC committee member. Hi, my name is Fiona Harvey. I work for the Centre for Innovation in Technology and Education and the University of Southampton and I'm the chair of the Alt MOOC SIG. Hi, I'm Helen Whitehead. I'm a learning technologist in the Central Learning Technologies section at the University of Nottingham and I'm a, an Alt MOOC SIG committee member. Okay, so we've just had the launch of the Alt MOOC SIG and I think it went really well, but I think it'd be a good idea if we just had a chat about what it was that we found most interesting and what we took away from that. So, might we might start. Mira, I start. Yes, um, it was really helpful having some very seasoned Alt uh, members there. Mm -hmm. Um, some quite senior ones and I think what I took away from it was the necessity of joining up with existing initiatives so um, we had Paul Bexy who has been to do with the open education mm. SIG for a while um, talking about how we need to um, gather our resources together at the moment they're, they're siloed off they've been using Mendeley we're interested in using Zotero so we need to bring things together um, and Seb Schmoller was talking about the, the necessity of um, bringing together discussions that have come up on, on the alt um, email list and bringing them into the newsletter and yeah, two examples. And I think a key thing really is um, you know, the idea that we're trying to be kind of open and collaborative in mm. terms of the group approach mm. and that what we're hoping to do by kind of having a blog and a WordPress site and using multiple things like the iGo or Zotero and Scoop It to bring things together so that however people want to contribute and kind of whatever their interests, mm. there's like a centralised space that we're all trying to make sense of what's going on and kind of formulating mm. um, responses to that. Mm. I think I was really pleased about how many people came along. It was really well attended, it was very good. And also about the nature of the way that they really took into the spirit of sitting down and thinking about the kind of themes that they'd be interested in blogging about. And so really being an active member of the SIG as opposed to just listening to us. So I think that works really well. And um, also the, very, the, the idea about looking at FE as well, and the other sectors of education. But like you said, working with the other SIGs I think that's really important and communication is always my big thing so I really really am keen to get all that going that we're all talking to each other all the time and sharing that's really important. Yes um, we had an interesting discussion we all, we all broke into groups and we had an interesting discussion and it made me realize that there are a number of perspectives on MOOCs um, sort of teacher learner which is is one of my perspectives as I'm also a member of Elisig which will also work with the old mm. MOOC SIG um, the policy angle yeah. and the learning technologist mm. angle and while we're mostly learning technologists yeah. and we're going to share best practice yeah. we also perhaps the people at the sharp end and we need to be aware of what's going on mm -hmm. uh, we need to read the re government report that's coming out next week yeah. we need to make a response to it yeah. um, and we need to advise other people perhaps in our universities should they ask Absolutely. us yeah. by being fully aware of what's going yeah. on I just think it's very exciting. I'm very pleased to be part of it. It's great fun. Met some brilliant people. Yes. It's good. It's good fun. Be like a party. Okay. That's great. Thank you. <laughs>